Hello, good morning. Uh, this is a demonstration of how to use a cloud ID environment for doing a lot of different types of development work, including uh, WordPress and Laravel. Okay, um, the website I want to introduce today is paisa.cloud. Okay, and this is the URL of the site. So enter the, the URL in the browser and then you will see this screen and on this uh, top right hand corner you can click sign up for free and then you just have to enter your email your username and password and then you can cr uh, get a free account very quickly no uh, credit card is required until you want to subscribe to his uh, uh, services okay i already have an account so let me switch to an account that i already have and this is the screen that you will see after you have signed up okay oh one thing to mention after you signed up you will receive an activation email and then you can click the activation email and then you will see this screen okay that step is very straightforward so i will not show it here okay so the first step is of course to start a new server and then this is the name uh, given to your new server and you can accept the default and you can choose the main purpose of your server I'm going to need PHP I'm going to need a uh, Laravel I need MySQL PHP my admin and I need Apache server okay if you do not mind much about security <clears throat> and you don't want uh, you don't need the servers to be always on for example like a production environment leave these two unchecked okay so click new server and then Python is creating a new server for you in the cloud it took only a while a short while to set up now the new server is now ready okay uh, there seems to be a lot on the screen and uh, don't worry uh, we'll uh, take a look of them uh, one by one okay now the first thing you note here is on the top right hand corner okay you only have about four hours before your server is suspended which means that the runtime the total runtime of your server cannot exceed four hours okay and then uh, here it, uh, in this in this uh, price website it simulates a Windows environment okay so you see many browsers here Okay, many of them uh, you don't need so you can safely close all of them and it doesn't affect uh, what we are going to do today so it is showing you um, what we are seeing here now uh, there are many parts here you can see uh, I'm opening this uh, folder this is my home folder it's under slash home slash Ubuntu okay and underneath my home folder I have another folder called public URL okay and under public P public underscore html i have a file called index.php and this is what index.php looks like as you can see it's nothing but showing echoing this hello.php okay that's why in another uh window okay the url you go you see that the url is basically the URL of my free virtual server and with the index PHP here okay you never mind uh, you, you don't need to mind this part so it's hello PHP now if you change something here for example hello world okay and then when you save it And then when you refresh this browser, you will see it is effective immediately. Okay, so now I we, I don't need this as so I can close it, and I can close this as well. And by default, it brings you to the main page about uh, how to create applications in Laravel. Okay, you can so, see some information there, um, and it also introduces to you how to use it. You don't need it now, so let's close it and there's also an introduction about uh, using 
uh, PHP and MySQL. Uh, PHP is my admin on Python, and you don't we don't need them either, so we close it. So our desk, uh, our browser is now clean. Okay, our working space is clean. And as you can see, there are a range of buttons here. You can create new file. You can create new uh, terminal here for entering commands. Uh, you can start a new browser and you can connect to the internet okay now but this is wasting a lot of space uh, actually you don't need it uh, because you can do the same thing uh, in, in uh, as you can see very, very soon you can uh, there's another place uh, yes if you click and then you can see there are a lot uh, more commands here okay now notice that we have a we have all the buttons we mentioned before plus we have the shortcuts to the folders this is to our home which is slash home slash ubuntu okay and then we have a uh, another shortcut which is to a browser okay of our this is looking at the root of our own uh virtual server okay of, of our apache server okay so now the purpose of today is to introduce to you how to install laravel on uh, on this virtual server so let's get started so first thing you want to do is you want to open the terminal okay now the command to do this is com composer create project that's dash that's two uh, hyphens prefer lala well slash lala well and then the name of the application you want to create okay you can call it anything now i will call it blog okay this name is convenient because a lot of the uh, lala docu documentation uses blog as an example okay so uh, it will make it easier for you to re read those documentation i've been using 5.8 okay um so you can specify the version here if you don't uh, the latest version will be given to you so let's press enter okay we seem to have a slight problem here oh actually i'm missing something okay preferred distribution dist okay again uh humble okay i'm missing a dash here so as you can see uh doing commands is uh, not uh is not uh, too difficult but it's a uh, lot of tedious okay so i'm missing a hyphen here so the command is entered and it may take a while to uh for composer to get the components now see it is running okay it's getting all the php files and libraries that is needed for uh, installing Laravel and in a while you will see that uh, there will be an error message actually it's not an error it's a warning okay about a command that we are using and uh, which is not quite uh, up to date but don't worry don't worry about it uh, our installation is going to be fine uh, you'll be able to complete a lot of development work using it now it's taking so long why because it's grabbing a lot of files from the internet okay if you do this on your own machine oh it will take almost just as long perhaps longer okay and how many files is this getting okay can you guess how many files it's in the thousands in the thousands okay depending on the exact version you're using for example now this is the warning message i'm talking about in the in yellow okay so don't be concerned about this warning it's okay now as you can see it's also generating a uh, a key for us okay so this part is also okay if you use other methods to uh install other well you have to do many other steps such as generating this key but now it's doing for us okay so how do you know laravel is actually installed well um it's very easy first of all remember the command that we used okay oh yes this command remember the block okay so we are 
Tabling Composer, we need a Laravel project. And the name of the project is Block. So this means that if you do an LS now, which means list the directories, you will see Block. Okay. Previously, we only have public underscore HTML. Okay, so if you go to blog and you do ls again, uh, you see uh, some files. Okay, it seems that it's not too complicated, but um, actually it's very, very complicated. Okay, so if you do a list long recursive, okay, this command means list long recursive, you will see that uh, we have many files which are directories. Okay. Um, okay, actually, this R means reverse order. Okay, never mind that. Now, let's do our first Laravel command, which is called PHP artisan serve. Now, notice that you have to execute this command when you are in the block directory, in the block folder. Okay, now if I go back, change directory back to home. If I enter this command now, it's going to complain. It's going to complain. Okay, could not open input file artisan. So what you need to do is to change directory to block. And as you may guess, actually artisan is one of the directories we have under uh, one of the files we have under uh, block. Okay, so now you execute the command, PHP artisan serve, and as you can see now, you suddenly notice that uh, there's a new button popping up here, okay, which says browser, the local IP address port 8000, port 8000, okay, and you, and you see similar things here, okay, HTTP, local address, IP address, port 8000 started. Now, what, is, what does this mean? It means that if you click this button here, okay, or when this is minimized, you can actually see a similar thing here. Okay, you will be using this um, way more often. So click this, and you need you, you get a new browser, and this is your first Laravel app project. Okay, and this is a kind of responsive, as you can see if I resize it, the menus are re rearrange themselves automatically. Okay, this is not a lot, but uh, this opens the door to a many many applications that you you can create. Okay, uh, quite easily. Okay, so let's stop for here.